Hi there, good evening everybody. My name is Richard McMahon and thank you very much for joining the webinar. Um, I'm going to talk to you for about 60 minutes about how to write and publish your own books. Now for those people who are not familiar with me, um, I'm a best-selling author and the UK's leading book coach. Basically, I write my own books, I set up my own publishing company and I also coach other people to get their um, books published too. Now, just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, you'll notice on the screen that you are able to ask questions. Um, just to let you know, I can't answer questions whilst I'm presenting. So what I will do is at the end of the webinar, I will say to you, right, give me your questions and you can put the questions in the box and I will answer them then. But please don't put any questions in there until I've got to the end of the webinar. Okay, so let's get straight into this presentation. Now, what I want to give you a quick background about myself because this will give you some inspiration with regards to writing and publishing your own books. Now, I know there are people already out there who are established authors, authors during this webinar, but I am sure, I'm 100% confident that you will find lots of great tips from me during this webinar. Now, prior to writing books, I was actually in the Royal Navy and the fire service. I served in Kent Fire and Rescue Service for 17 years. That's me there as a fire, fire officer. Um, and I also spent from a young age a few years in the Royal Navy on board HMS Invincible. And I'm sure you'll agree, right, that's not a particularly great background for a career as an author. But what that should do is give you the confidence to know that regardless of your background, you can become a successful author. Not only that, you can also become a successful publisher. So there's nothing to stop you from writing your own books, but there's also nothing to stop you from setting up your own publishing company. And that's exactly what I have done. And I want to encourage you and support you in that process too. Now, this is largely irrelevant. However, some people out there believe that you have to have lots of qualifications in order to be successful in life. You do not need those at all. Yes, they do help. But an example with me, I have three really poor grade GCSEs, one in English literature, one in English language and one in art. Um, so again, I wasn't the most intelligent person at school. However, with hard work and determination, I was able to become a successful author. Now, this is important. I want you to write a few things down as I go through the presentation. I'll prompt you when to do it. Now, hard work equals success. So Please write that down. I'm going to talk about an action plan during this presentation. I'll give you the exact action plan that I use. But from an early age, there's a, a quite a funny photograph of me um, passing out from the Royal Navy. That's me there on the left, a lot younger than I am now, by the way. But I've won an award for sustained effort. Now, we all know what the word sustain means. It basically means not giving in. OK, so keep trying, keep trying and keep going. And that's what I did. And I won an award for sustained effort, which is really bizarre because I was, I was actually on board a ship and I won um, an award, which was a road atlas, which wasn't really any use being on board a ship. However, what this did tell me or instill me in an early age was that if I worked hard, I would get rewarded. And that's what I want you to do. And the way that you work hard is by writing your books, OK, but also by sticking to an action plan and saying to yourself, by this time, I'm going to have completed a chapter or by this time I'm going to have completed my first book. OK, so you have to follow an action plan. And that's what I do all the time. I have a visual action plan, which I use for every book that I publish. Now, some people believe that you need to have some fancy flash offices to write your own books. You do not. This is um, my house in Maidstone. I rent it out now. I've built up a bit of a, a property portfolio from the money I've made from writing books, and I let this house out. And this is where I started writing. So from humble beginnings, I've managed to write my own books. And I did it from my cellar, which is just down there. Um, that's my house in Maidstone. So I just got myself an old piece of furniture, um, a desk from MFI, and then I started writing my books on my computer. And I wasn't particularly good, but I always looked to improve all the time. And then I found a niche market and managed to sell lots of books. Now, it doesn't matter what genre you're writing in, whether it's nonfiction, fiction, um, novels, business startup, cooking related or children books. It doesn't matter. My system works for you. It will work for you. I guarantee it. So choose somewhere where you feel comfortable for writing your books. Do not. Um, how can I put it? Do not. Just write in loads of different places. Pick one place, like I did. It was my cellar, first of all. Pick one place and then write there. And it might be your local coffee shop that you go to, maybe one hour a day or you know a few hours a week to write. But make sure you pick a place. Write that down. Now, this is where you can get to. Now, once you've written your first book, start entering into awards. There's loads of book awards out there. 
Okay, and if you were to work with me on a one to one basis, I'd be encouraging you to enter your book into awards. Now, this year, um, I reached the final of the National Book Publishing Awards. Okay, so I've come from being a firefighter to entering these awards, and, and you get it, you get through these awards by entering them. You've got to put yourself in. But I was shortlisted as Specialist Consumer Publisher of the Year, which is another word for that is niche. So I chose a niche market. The second one was Digital Marketing Publisher of the Year. Now, the reason why I was shortlisted in that category is because I am extremely proficient and competent at promoting my books online by the way of a website, by using Amazon, but also by using YouTube. And I'll talk about that later on in the presentation. Furthermore, this year I was a finalist at the National Bookseller Industry Awards, a massive, massive award. So I was a finalist there for Independent Academic Educational and Professional Publisher Year. So the key tip there on that slide is to make sure that you put yourself in for awards. And if you don't put yourself in, then you have absolutely no chance, obviously, of, um, you know, of winning anything. But the great thing is, when you enter awards, you get to use these logos. Okay, so you can put them on your website, you can put them on the back of your books too. Now this presentation is about you and your future success. The way to achieve success in anything, and particularly about writing and publishing books, is to actually take action. Always have a mentor to help you achieve your financial goals. Now, there are four steps to success, okay, in any kind of business. The first one is visibility. The second one is having credibility. And the third one is authority. That's where you make yourself really strong within your particular niche or area. And this is where the financial reward will come. OK, so the fastest way to do it is through writing and publishing books, because that makes you visible. OK, you can get a book out there as soon as you like. It's down to you how quick or how long it takes for you to get the book out there. If you're really good at what you do when writing and publishing books, then you gain credibility and the authority. This is where the wealth will appear. OK, so write those four key areas down. Now, when I write a book, I always aim to write fantastic content because that not only makes me visible, but it gives me the credibility. Now, if you do that, you'll get great reviews on Amazon and then you'll be able to sell more and more books. People will start to search for you under your author name. Now, some people have said to me, yes, but are book sales on the rise? Well, yes, they are. They're very, very much on the rise. Now, this is a chart for ebook sales in the United States from 2008 predicted to 2018. So you can see there in US dollars, 6.74 billion US dollars. And that's just the US market. Now, what about printed sales? Okay, do you think printed sales are going up or going down? And this is quite important because I always encourage people when I work with them on my author mentoring program to publish their book in both ebook format and print format too, because I love printed books. You probably do as well, um, but I love printed books. Well, they certainly are on the rise. Now, this was um, an article in the Financial Times recently where Waterstones state that they plan to open more bookstores. Who'd have thought that a few years ago, guys, that Waterstones are going to open more, more bookstores? Now, the reason for this is because the Kindle sales in Waterstones during Christmas plummeted. And that's not my words. That's theirs. Sales of the Kindle ebook reader had plummeted during Christmas. OK, so. Physical book sales are on the rise. Take advantage of that. So how much can you make from writing and publishing books? Well, um, I make about £50,000 per month from writing and publishing books on my website. And so far to date, I've made over four and a half million pounds from publishing and, and writing books using my unique formula. OK, so it does work. And you only need one book to get it right. And then you can give up your day job. But the bottom line is the more time you spend writing and publishing books, the more money you can make. OK, that's the bottom line. Now, I'm not saying to go out there and give up your day job. I'm not. What I did when I was working as a firefighter was that I worked in the evenings to start off with. Yeah, I left the fire brigade years ago. But when I was working there, I used to spend time in the evening writing on my books. Now, model for, model for success. The first step, write your book and aim for quality content. Step two, within the book, you need to include some kind of squeeze page or a website link where you can send people from your book and then you can capture their name and email address okay now that then gives you their contact details and you can build up a relationship with your fans and your readers and then what you need to do is think about the different types of services and upsells you can offer readers based on your book subject now for those people who are writing fiction or novels if you have your fans or readers contact details you are then able to email them and contact them to tell them when you've got further books coming out this is really powerful so what kind of upsells could you include within your book 
Okay, well, I offer training courses. I offer coaching DVDs on specific subjects that I've already covered within the book itself. Online training webinars and subscriptions and coaching. I can even offer one-to-one -one coaching services. I can make myself available for public speaking. So if you are, again, a fiction or a novel writer, make yourself available within your book for public speaking. And also membership to different websites and services. This is a fantastic model to follow, guys, and I encourage you to use it. But you cannot take advantage of this unless you draw people from your book to a squeeze page or a website where you can capture people's details. Now, write this down. The first stage in writing and publishing any book is to choose your book niche and genre very, very carefully. And I encourage you to do this um, through Amazon. So go to Amazon, not right now, but once you are ready to get started, even before you sit down to write any content for your book, go to Amazon, choose the category that you are going to sell your book in because that is the first stage for becoming a best-selling author. So just to give you um, a number of examples of categories is self-help, motivational reference, careers, business startup and advice, fiction, erotic fiction, which is a huge market, believe it or not, drama, children's books, cooking and food related, health and fitness, and the list goes on. So go to Amazon and choose your book category carefully. Now, you have to think about your unique selling point within your book. What sells and why? Okay, now when I first started writing my um, How to Become books, I stated that I was an insider because I had insider information about my specific book subject. People will pay for inside information. People will pay for books where they can get the advantage. People will pay for erotic fiction. People will pay for novels, for fiction books, for mystery and thriller books too. OK, so these are the kind of things that sell. So write down and ask yourself the question, what is my unique selling point from my book? The next stage is to select a book idea to ensure that it sells. Now, when I sit down to come up with a different book idea, I can virtually guarantee that my idea is going to sell. So I don't just pluck an idea out of thin air. I use a process. OK, so I select an idea to ensure it sells. Now, if you are sat there at home and you're listening to this webinar and you're thinking to yourself, you know what? I've got no idea on what kind of subject to write about. Well, use my book ideas generation form. Now, write down these questions on the left. Now, do this once we finish the training. OK, don't do it now, but do it once we finish the training and ask yourselves these questions. What am I good at? And then write down the answer and that will give you an idea for your book. OK, so I'm really good at coaching people to become best selling authors. Therefore, I can write a book on how to become a best selling author. I can share my knowledge and expertise with um, fans and readers out there who want to buy that information. What qualifications do I have? You might find that you have some kind of qualifications that you're really good at at school or since you've been at work where you've gained a qualification and people will pay you for that information. What are your hobbies and interests? I play the drums, okay, I'm a really good drummer, I play the drums in a band so I could do some kind of book on how to become a proficient drummer. Now this is a good one, do people ever ask you for advice? And lots of people, when I first, when I was in the fire service, they used to say to me, how do you get into the fire brigade? And I would coach them to get in. And that's when I thought to myself, there is an opportunity there for me to write and publish a book called How to Become a Firefighter. That was my first book that I ever um, um, wrote and published, How to Become a Firefighter. What courses have I been on? Ask yourself, have you been on any courses? And also, this is a good one. What do people close to me know? So think about your friends. Think about your relatives. Think about um, your partner, your colleagues. What do people know? OK, and to give you um, another example, uh, my father... Um, he works as a magistrate, so I was able to tap into him and ask him what it took to become a magistrate. And I then wrote a best-selling book called How to Become a Magistrate. OK, so use that form to come up with lots of different ideas. Also, think about what is topical right, right now. So read the newspapers and look for different book ideas. OK, um, I read lots of different newspapers on a weekly basis, not because I want to absorb myself with the information that's being thrown at me, because most of it is negative. However, they are a great source for coming up with different book ideas. For example, in the Telegraph, the newspapers revealed that British Airways were going to recruit 800 pilots. OK, that's a big opportunity for a book. The only problem is that I do not know how to become a pilot. So therefore, I need to get someone to help me. And that's what I did. I found a serving pilot 
to help me write a book on how to become a pilot and then shared the profit. So I was the publisher, he was the author, and then I wrote or published a best-selling book entitled How to Become a Pilot. So my system is based on not having any barriers there, okay? I have a can-do attitude, and I want you to have that too. So if you come up with an idea, but you think, well, how am I gonna write it? You can either outsource the writing element or you can find someone to assist you. The next stage, write content for your book that focuses on the reader, plus use an action plan, okay? so. When you sit down to write a book, don't say to yourself or don't think, oh, how much money am I going to make from this book? Don't say to yourself, I want to make £100,000 from this book. Think to yourself, how can you write great content that the reader will love? And if you do that, the money or the financial reward will come regardless. And use an action plan. OK, so I mentioned earlier on about an action plan, which I'm going to show you in a second. But you have three options for writing your book. The traditional method. OK, I still type with two fingers. OK, I'm touch type, traditional method, aim for three pages a day. And if you think about it, if you were to write three pages a day for a month, how much content would you have? You'd have about 100 pages, almost 100 pages of content. And when you're writing your content, aim for font size 12. It doesn't matter what style font you use, but aim for font size, font, um, sorry, font size 12 with a paragraph spacing of 1.5. And that will give you about 345 words per page. My template that I use and I hand out to people who are on my book writing coaching program, it's about 345 page, words per page. The second option that you could go for is my 11 hour publisher method. This is for people with busy schedules. Now, it is possible to record content using the voice record method. Now, I haven't got time to teach you that tonight, but if you work with me, then I'll go through that entire process with you. But you can basically um, write and publish content using your smartphone. OK, it's a great way, especially for people to use, for users who are writing blogs to get content down using the transcription service method. Now, the final one, you can outsource the writing element like I did with the, with the pilot book and the, you know, the magistrate book. Outs, outsource it. There are lots of um, ghostwriters out there, but be very careful who you use. OK, so let's take a look at my action plan. This is the action plan I want you to use. That's what it looks like in a nutshell. I'm going to break this down quickly for you. But that is the action plan that I use. So first of all, I research my book ideas on Amazon. Do you remember the book genres? Look at the categories on Amazon. That's the first stage that I follow. I then carry out some research with regards to the book ideas generation form. I come up with different ideas for my book. I look in the newspapers to see whether I can find ideas. And I do that on a weekly basis. I then look for competition and weaknesses. And I do that on Amazon. So I've gone to Amazon and see if anybody else is doing a book within my book genre or the idea that I've come up with. If there is, I will look for weaknesses. And the weaknesses generally come in a number of ways. One will be a book cover. OK, book covers, I cannot emphasize how important these really are for selling lots of copies of books. You can have brilliant content, but if your book cover is no good and it doesn't serve the purpose, then you will not sell any books at all. OK, so the cover is really important. The other weakness can come with the book title and with non-fiction books particularly i am always creating titles based on what people are searching for using the google keyword planner tool i will then ask myself will it sell and you can ask your friends what do they think about your idea i then use the google keyword planner tool so write that down you can use the google keyword planner tool and you find that by just searching on google and that will tell you what phrases people are searching for each day so to give you an example i recently um, published a book called The Law National Admissions Test Book. I knew nothing about it, but I went and found someone to write it and published a book. And I found that there were 5,400 people a month searching for that phrase. And therefore, I decided to call my book that particular title. Think about your title of the book and the strap line. Write it down, OK? And think about what people are searching for. Then start your writing. And I've put there a simple Word document using my template, 64 to 100 pages to get you started. Now, I've put there, put the book on pre-order. Now, this is a great thing to do. And I always put books on pre-order before I've even started writing them. That's a great motivator, guys, to get you to finish your book. Put it on Amazon on pre-order. Then aim for your three pages a day. Think about your structure, your content, and your chapters. Now, with regards to your chapter titles, make the chapter titles really interesting. Don't just use standard, run-of-the-mill, boring chapter titles. Make them really interesting because you're going to put those chapter titles in your book description on the Amazon sales page, and people will read them, and that will encourage them 
to buy your book on pre-order. Then think about your book cover design, your ISBN, which is the International Standard Book Number, and the barcode. Think about proofreading, editing, typesetting, and Kindle conversion. Do not do Kindle conversion yourself. Don't do it. You need to outsource the Kindle conversion on a website such as Upwork.com, great website where you can go to get your Kindle converted. But don't do it yourself because you will get it wrong. We need you to just focus on the writing and publishing side of the book and setting up the Amazon account and then go through the Waterstones process, which I'm going to teach you in a little while. That's the Waterstones process. And then I put there, repeat. So you then repeat the process. And I've done that in excess of 150 times. OK, so if you search me online, Richard McMahon, you'll see that I've published well in excess of 150 books myself using this exact same action plan. And I'm now coaching other people like you to do exactly the same. Stage four, I just mentioned about book cover, how important the book cover is. It's, you will not believe by making a couple of little changes to your book cover what a massive impact this can have to your sales. And your book cover will, and I guarantee, will determine how successful your book is. So what sells a book apart from the content? Well, there's a saying, do not judge a book by its cover. And the reason why people say that is because we all do. Everybody judges a book by its cover. Now think about this. You or most people don't go into Waterstones now to buy books. They go online. We all do. We go onto Amazon. And the first thing you see, you don't get to touch and feel the book, but you look at the cover. And we are all swayed by visual. OK, so we look at the book cover and if it doesn't really do it for us, it doesn't float our boat, we won't buy it. But if you come up with a great book cover, hey presto, you will sell lots of covers. OK, just a bit of fun there, Cooking with Poo. Um, that's a, a book cover which is actually out there right now on sale. Book covers and book titles are extremely important. Don't get these wrong, guys. OK, you've got to get them right. So the test is, this is a question. How do you test whether a book cover is effective or not? How do you know whether it's going to be any good? Well, this is the question. I'm going to put this book cover up now and I want you to tell me within two seconds what it's about. And I guarantee that none of you on this webinar will be able to tell me what that book is about. Now, that's a book that's out there being published now. And in my opinion, this is a really poor book cover because you need to know what it is within a couple of seconds. Because let's say you were searching for a book on Amazon and this came up in front of your screen. You would not be bothered to, to read the description to find out what it's about. The cover sells the book. Now, this book is actually called Pocket the Best Jobs in the World, believe it or not. OK, that's a career related book, but that's a picture of someone's backside. And it's actually got a globe in the pocket, hence Pocket the Best Jobs in the World. Now, what this publisher has done, they're thinking too deep. They're trying to be clever. OK, it doesn't work. It does not work. All right. I'll show you a couple of examples of really good book covers in a minute. But that is the test. You're not going to be there on Amazon to tell people what your book is about. Therefore, the cover needs to do that for you. If you get the book cover right, you can become a best selling author. So let me give you a couple of examples. These are books of mine where I mean, I, I've lost count how many times I've not just become a bestseller, but a number one bestseller. Now, when you become a number one bestseller on Amazon, you get this little badge here. It's quite cool. A little orange badge. That's uh, one of my books. Uh, boring subject. Abstract reasoning tests. The cover. You know what that is without me having to be there to tell you, it passes the test. Here's another one, this is How to Become a Firefighter, my very first book that I published, number one bestseller. Okay, here's another one, this is really cool. If you follow my tips and training, then this says number one new release. This book is, you see that on the right hand side, pre-order this item, it's not even released and it's number one. So it's a number best number one bestseller on pre-release. Okay, how cool is that? So you put the book on pre-order and if you saw that with your book by putting it on pre-order, and you see that when you're writing the content, that would just encourage you to write more fantastic content, wouldn't it? It absolutely would. And you know what that book is about without me having to tell you. OK, so that's really important. Now, here's another really good book cover. Um, I could say to you, tell me what that book is about and you'd be able to tell me. OK, it's called How to Successfully Invest in Property. Now, this gentleman, uh, Mike Woods, I'll talk about him a little bit later on, but he um, recently finished my VIP mentoring program and within three weeks, of publishing the book, he became a number one bestseller. How cool is that? That's by following my strategies that I teach. Um, so that cover works really well. And we decided to put Mike on the front as well um, because he looks good, but also he is the brand and he's able to upsell from his book. So he offers different training courses, coaching and mentoring. Here's another good example. Now, um, for those people who know Paul McKenna, he does sort of like motivational hypnosis kind of books. This is a good book cover because, again, he puts himself on the front cover. But the title is The Three Things That Will Change Your Destiny Today. 
Okay, so we know what that book is about because the title just tells us everything. He doesn't need to be there to explain what the book is about. And I'm going to ask you a question. What word on that cover do you think has a huge impact on sales? Do you think it's change? Do you think it's the number three? Do you think it's your destiny or today? Well, the word that has a huge impact is today. Now, we all don't have much time available, do we? So we want things now. Everybody is impatient nowadays. We're all impatient, and we're just going to become even more impatient as time goes on. People want things now, and that word today really helps to boost the sales. And I'll guarantee if you took that off the title and off the cover, his sales would half. I guarantee it. If it was just the three things that will change your destiny, it, it, will, it will sell books, but it won't sell as many as if he puts that word on there today. It can have a huge impact on it. Now, you have to become really good at selling on Amazon. You have to understand Amazon to become a, a really good author and a publisher. Now, we have to get into the Amazon sales page. I'm going to tell you a couple of different key elements about Amazon, which are quite important. The first one is the book title and the strap line. Um, if you're doing non-fiction, make sure that the title and the strap line is based on what people are searching for. If you're doing a fiction-related book or a novel, then it has to be a really captivating and enticing title. Okay, It's got to be. It's got to draw the reader in the same with the cover. Now, the book reviews, I'm going to talk about them in a second. But if you have positive, genuine book reviews, they can have a huge impact on your sales. Now, that is the recommended retail price. And a key tip here, guys, write this down. Don't drop the prices of your books, okay? Don't drop them just to compete with other people. I generally sell my books about 13, 15, or even 20 pounds sometimes. I put the price up because Amazon then drops the price, but I still get paid based on the recommended retail price. Now, the book description, I always repeat the title of the book two to three times within the book description, and that helps with searches, not only on Amazon, but also on Google too, because Amazon appears on Google, and some of my books rank number one on Google as well as Amazon on the search term. The book cover, I've already mentioned about the book cover, okay, I can't go on about it enough, it's really important for your sales. Now this frequently brought together stage, you want to get your book to be in this position on as many different other people's books as possible. So you can see there that these three books in this frequently brought together stage, those are all my books there. Can you imagine if you're one book, let's say you write and publish one book, and that book was on 100 different people's pages on the frequently brought together um, section, imagine how many you would sell. And Amazon goes even further. This part, customers who bought this item also bought. Right, these are my books, okay? That's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. So can you imagine being on, again, 100 pages if you had more than one book, how your sales can really increase. Okay, now, a, I want you to write this down. This is a really cool tip. Now, when you put your book on pre-order, it doesn't matter what genre it's in, where it says here, customers who bought this item also bought, this will change to customers who viewed this item also viewed. Okay, so if your book's on pre-order, that's what it will say. And people who view yours and view another one, then your book will appear on lots of different pages. So there is nothing to stop you, okay, so putting your book on pre-order, going onto your Amazon sales page, looking at your book, and then you go onto lots of different books within the same genre that you're publishing yours under that are coming out soon and view those other books too. Then go back to your book, don't click the back button, but search for your book on Amazon. Then view your book again, and then view somebody else's book that is coming soon. And your book will then appear on loads of different pages where it says customers who viewed this also viewed that too. Okay, and that's a great way to get pre-order sales for your books. It works tremendously well. Okay, book details, that's where all these book details go. Now, if you publish your book under the Amazon Advantage program or the Amazon Create Space, you will complete all of these details within this section here. Now, author biography, it just astounds me how many authors don't bother creating their author page. You create an author page, at Amazon Author Central, write that down, Amazon Author Central. So search for Amazon Author Central online and that's where you set up your author page and you can link your author page to your books, but you have to do that. If you don't, then your picture that you put up yourself won't appear and you won't be able to put in a biography. So make sure you set up an Amazon Author Central account, put a picture on there. You also have the facility to upload a video, which is great. And you can go to websites like fiverr.com, which is F-I-V-E-R-R.com, fiverr.com, and get somebody to make a promotional video for your book. Upload it to your Amazon Author page, and then people who are looking to view your book will be able to see the video. Okay, but make sure you link it. Now, you can also link a Twitter account 
to your Amazon um, Author Central account. But a word of warning, only link your Twitter account if you tweet on a regular basis. OK, because if you don't, it will say on your Amazon page that you haven't tweeted for, I don't know, 300 days. And that will put people off from buying your book because it will show that you're not active. So that is an example of one of my books on Amazon. Now, even though I have got lots of books out there, look at the power of this. That's my book there. I've then got all three books in the Frequently Bought Together page. And then every single book on this bottom line, all eight of them belongs to me. OK, so I cannot lose. I cannot fail. Sorry, I can yeah, I cannot fail. I can only win by having all of these available. And there's me at the bottom, so you can see that. But even if you've just got one book out and yours is ranking on 100 different people's pages, that is when the sales will really start to come in. Now, a key Amazon tip. I've already mentioned this, but I can't emphasize it enough. Make sure that you put your book on pre-order before you start writing it. OK, and get your book cover on Amazon, too. So get your book cover created, first of all. Get it out there on Amazon in light so you can see it. And then your book is on pre-order and that will motivate you. And like I say, if you can get your book, um, if you can get your book to be a number one bestseller before it's even, before you've even started writing it, how crazy is that? But that is such a good motivating thing to get you started. OK, now Amazon announced recently that you can also put a Kindle book on pre-order too. So if you're just going to do it in Kindle, get it on pre-order. The second key Amazon tip, and I can't, this is up there with one of these really good golden nuggets, guys. I've got loads of them um, to give you, but this one's really good. Now, sign up for the Look Inside facility and place your website link on the first or second page of your book. Now, Amazon does this Look Inside facility where people can click your book cover image on their Amazon sales page and they can have a look at a few pages. On the second page of the PDF document that you upload to Look Inside, put a link to your website or your Facebook page or your Twitter page. OK, and this is really cool. So this is an example. You can see here, this is one of my books, another boring subject, IQ and aptitude test. It's like a, a career related book, but that's irrelevant. Anyway, so you can see there it says look inside. Now, when you click look inside, this is the second page of the book. And it says I'm giving them free access to online tests. OK, and that link there goes straight to a website where I capture people's names and email addresses and I give them free tests. Now, you might say to me, yeah, but Richard, why do you want to give something away for free? Trust me, giving away things for free works really well. So, for example, tonight, there's loads of people listening to this training webinar. And one of the reasons is, is because I'm doing it for free. So I'm actually sat here um, in my office at home teaching you and giving you an hour of my time. Now, if I was going to charge for this service, for this hour long webinar, you might think, no, I, I don't know him, so I don't want to do it. So I have to build trust up with you. And that's how you do it with your books. Draw people either to your Facebook page, your Twitter page, or some kind of website where you can tell them about yourself. And all they need to do is to give you a name or email address. They'll give you those details and you can then spark up a relationship with them. And a great way to do that is to give them a free chapter of your book or a free bonus chapter, an additional chapter that isn't in the first book. The great thing about this link here, guys, is that Amazon makes it, link, uh, uh, makes it live. So it, all they need to do is to click it and it will then go through to your page. Now, Amazon has um, a review process, as we all know. The types of reviews that you have to get for your book and don't get them through paying for them. Don't do that. OK, but the, the reviews you need to get are called Amazon Verified Purchase. Write that down. Amazon Verified Purchase. That means that the person who has reviewed your book has gone and bought the book on Amazon. OK, and these ones here, these are just some of my, my books um, and you can see there, when it's a verified purchase, it gets a little orange tag that says verified purchase. Now, that's intended to tell the customer that the person who's reviewing this book or this product has actually bought the book. OK, and that's quite powerful. But these reviews get better ranking on the sales page because they're more trusted by Amazon. So if you can get Amazon verified purchases for your book once it's published, then your book has a better chance of selling. OK, need I say any more? Amazon verified purchases. Make sure you get them. The next stage, upsell within your book and sell it through multiple sales channels and websites. Now, you can sell through multiple channels by having an ISBN number, International Standard Book Number. So you need to get an ISBN. You get that from this company here in the top right called Nielsen. Don't go out there and buy ISBNs unless you know where they have come from. Now, on my VIP or for mentoring program, um, I give an ISBN, okay, so you get an ISBN as part of that program. But once you get an ISBN, that will allow you to sell in all of these different channels. 
Okay, lots of different channels. And when you sell through different channels, not just Amazon, but on your website, for eBay, for Wardstones, Gardner's Books, W. H. Smith, Cobo, etc., that's when the financial reward will come. But you have to have a 13-digit ISBN. If you don't have that, then you are not going to be able to sell any. Now, in order to sell through multiple channels, you have to have this ISBN and a barcode. Now, in order, once you've got the ISBN to get your barcode, you need a barcode generating software. Don't go out and buy it. You can get it for free, and you can get it from a website called Barillo Barcode. Now, that's spelled B A R I L L O, Barillo. Barillo Barcode. Search for that on Google, and you can download the barcode generator. Don't go and pay for it. Okay, really important part of this presentation, guys. How to get your book stocked and on sale in Waterstones. Now, Waterstones. Do not take every book that's thrown at them. You have to write really good content. Now, my books are available in Waterstones because they are good, okay? And I'm not saying that big-headedly, but I've spent time writing really good books. Now, the first stage is you need to register yourself as a publisher, a self-publisher, with Nielsen Book Data. That's the first stage. Register yourself with Nielsen, and you can do that at the same time that you purchase your ISBNs. That's when you obtain your 13-digit international standard book number for your book. You then need to open your account with Waterstone's preferred UK distributor. Now, Waterstone's have a preferred UK distributor. Okay, You need to open your account with them. And what you do is then send off a sample copy of your book to that particular distributor. Okay, If you don't send it off to them, they're not going to know about it. But this is the key thing. There's no guarantee that they will stock it. It needs to be good. Guys, don't send them rubbish. It needs to be good. Then, if they want to stock it, they'll agree terms with you, and then you open your Waterstones account using the Waterstones trading application form, and you can get one of those online. But you can't go straight to this unless you've done this green and red part, okay? That's the, now that obviously there's more involved with that, and I can help you with the Waterstones process, but those are the five key elements for getting into Waterstones. Now, once your book is out there, my advice is to drive lots of traffic to your book. Okay, don't just sit back, drive lots of traffic to it. There's loads of ways you can do this. Okay, so you've got it up on Amazon. You need to start, even though you'll be benefiting on Amazon from 81 million visitors a month, but don't just sit back, start driving people to your page. Okay, you can do that for your own website or your own blog. Okay, I've got a blog which I, um, which I promote and then I, I sell my books from it. You can do it from a, a LinkedIn account, okay? So I do lots of posts on LinkedIn. You can do it through Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Business cards with your book on that you hand out to people with a domain name that draw to your Amazon sales page. Now, I'm going to talk about YouTube in a minute. It doesn't matter what genre of book you have, but YouTube is brilliant, guys. And it's all free. It doesn't cost anything. Also, Google pay-per-click adverts. I wouldn't really, really encourage you to use these unless you know what you're doing. I've spent about £340,000 using Google pay-per-click adverts. Okay, They work for me, but unless you know what to do with them, a word of warning, but they do work, Okay, and I can coach you how to use them. Now, this is a good one. There is a really cool website. Don't go to it now, but write this down. This is a free website where you can upload your book and you can sell it from this website free of charge. The website doesn't cost anything. It's called aboutthehauthor.co.uk. Write that down and you can get your book um, on pre-order there. You can get it up for sale. You can link your um, Amazon page, etc., to it, your Twitter account. But that's quite a cool website. And like I say, it's free of charge. Now this is a really good one. Even though I did particularly badly at school, as you know, I've got three really poor grade GCSEs. Um, my school contacted me and said, oh, we see that you've been successful, Mr. McMahon, in writing and publishing books. Would you like to go on our Hall of Fame on our website? And I was like, are you sure? Me, who's got three GCSEs? They're like, yeah, we'd like to have you on there. And there's a reason why. So they contacted me, and then there's me on my um, school website with my terrible grade GCSEs, but they put me on there. And you can see there that they've linked my books um, on the website. Now, the great thing is, is that a school website okay, has a very high authority link from it to Amazon. So if you can speak to your school and say, look, I'm a best-selling author, would you put me on your website as an author and then link to my Amazon account? That would be greatly appreciated. Now, this on the top right hand there where it says this is an outstanding school, this is the reason why your school will like to do this because it shows that you have been successful. Okay, if you are an author and a best-selling author at that, your school will like that story. Trust me, they will like it. Okay, so contact your school, tell them about your book, and then get yourself uploaded onto that. Now, I mentioned earlier on about 
YouTube. This is YouTube. This is how to get free traffic and sales for your book. Now, what I tend to do is I tend to create an informative and educational five or 10 minute video for YouTube, which is based on each chapter of my book. So just to give you an example, this is a really boring subject. It's called mechanical comprehension tests. Wow, you know, really interesting, but there's quite a big demand for this kind of book. So I wrote a book called Mechanical Comprehension Test and I created a 10 minute video. Now I called it Mechanical Comprehension Test Questions and Answers. This book, sorry, this video that I did on YouTube ranks number one on Google for that search term. So if you went to Google and you type Mechanical Comprehension Test Questions and Answers, it'll be right up there. Okay, now when people click through to that link, it takes them to my YouTube channel. Now, can you see that link where it says download the book? Now that link goes through to my website where people can buy that book as a download. You can link that video to your Amazon sales page. Now this book, the download version, sells five a day at 10 pound. Now that doesn't sound a lot, okay? But that equates to 18,000 pounds a year for that one 10 minute video. Sorry, 12, well, it's about 12 and a half minutes, but 18,000 pounds a year that brings in for me for just doing a 12 minute video. Okay, so linking it to your website where people can download it. That is such a cool way. Imagine if you do that for every single chapter. Now, is the power of YouTube. This is just one of my videos, how to pass telephone interviews. It's very boring, but look at that. That's had 444,000 views, that video. Okay, that was quite a long one. I did that for 40 minutes, but I just sat here like this, talking on the screen, using screen capture software, my headset and my microphone, Upload it to YouTube, and then below that, you can link link the video to your book on Amazon or to your website. How fantastic is that? Now, when you use YouTube, and this is how to get ranked on the first page when you do YouTube videos, make sure, if you don't do this, you won't get any traffic, guys. Optimize the videos. Make sure the title is based on what people are searching for. That might be the title of your book, especially if it's a fiction book or a novel. Description, create an accurate description for your video, the same as you do for Amazon. Then, if you, you've got to add these tags, guys. Add as many tags as possible. Add 15 tags about your book, which tells YouTube what your video is about and who it's for. And that's when you'll get lots of free traffic. Now, I set this um, career vids channel, again, which is, you know, um, it's, it's just a homemade YouTube channel that I created from home. Now, this channel has now had um, over 9,000 subscribers and it's received over, well, 1,536,318 video views as of today. It's called Career Vids. Okay, that's the channel, it's on YouTube. It's, it's just to promote my books. But imagine all that free traffic. I haven't had to pay for anything. So that's what you can do. It's, it's a really great way, guys, to get lots of traffic. Remember, the value in your book goes far further than the initial purchase price. So you might sell a book for, say, £15, and you might sell a 1,000 books at that price. That will give you a return of £15,000 gross. You might then, remember what one of the first slides I put, which is about upsell. Sell 100 um, things on a 100 upsell back-end package. You might have some kind of back-end package where you're charging £100. You sell 100, that gives you £10,000. You then sell like a three-day weekend training course for a £1,000. You only have to sell 25. That makes £25,000. All the people coming onto these upsells are coming from your book. Okay, so five places on a mentoring program at 5000 each. That gives you £25,000. You can see now why I have made such a large amount of money from books. Books are a great lead generator. Okay, they are fantastic, but you have to create fantastic content, guys. You've got to. OK, and with me helping you to do that, then you cannot fail. And on that basis, I have an opportunity for you. Now, we're going to come on to questions and answers in a minute and I'll be able to answer your questions live. But I've got a really good opportunity for you. I'm going to coach you to write and publish your book. OK, now it doesn't matter whether you are an established author and you want to do another book with me. That's great. Or even if you don't have an idea for a book yet, come and work with me. Now, I only have two places available. OK, I have two places available on my VIP author one to one mentoring program. It's a 12 month program where you come and work with me to get your book published in print format and also Kindle. You come and meet me on a one to one basis and you work with me. I give you full email support. We build up a relationship together and we get your book published and it works. I guarantee you will become a best selling author if you follow my coaching and my training. So here's how I am going to help you. Here's how we're going to work together. First of all, I'm going to coach you to write your book. 
Okay, and this includes the coaching on the book subject, the market research, the book title, the book sections, and the action plan. It does not matter what kind of genre of book you want to publish in. I've done all different types of book genres, and I can help you. You will get the book artwork. You know the cover? You'll get the cover created, including the spine, the rear cover. If you want to go on the front cover of your book, then we can do that too. I'll create a stunning artwork for your book. Now, I have um, a professional in-house publishing team. I'll get your book typeset by my professional typesetting team so that it's ready for print. So once the manuscript is created, we then get it professionally typeset, which is getting it ready for print. Now, I'm going to coach you and support you when you're writing the book itself. You're going to send me every single chapter. Okay, you're going to send me each chapter and I'm going to review it for you, give you feedback and I'll support you along the way. I'll also set you up as a publisher on Amazon so that you can sell your book and also set you up on Kindle. I will also print your book for you and give you free copies. Now, I spend in excess of £100,000 a year with my printer. That's a lot of printing and I get really, really good rates for my printing, but I'm going to give you free copies and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Now, if your book falls in the non-fiction genre, I'll sell your book on my How to Become website. And that gets 5,000 unique hits a day. I'll give you one-to-one -one coaching. So you'll come and meet me, okay, in Kings Hill, which is in Kent in my offices, for an initial consultation. Now, I've put there, it's for an hour. Most of them go on for two hours. So you get to work with me. If Kent is too far, we can do it via Skype. OK, and I do a lot of them via Skype. But yeah, if you come and meet me, great. You will then get 12 months full email support. You'll get my personal email. And like I say, we'll build up a relationship together. And I guarantee you will become a best selling author when you follow my coaching and strategies. So as part of the program, you will also get so you get all of that. And in addition to that, you get the international standard book number and you will get the barcode, too. And that will allow you to sell in multiple channels. Now, if you wanted to go out and get all of that yourself, that's what it would cost you to do that. I will then research the book subject. So you'll be there with me in my office. We're going to do an action plan for you. We'll research the book subject together to ensure you become a best-selling author. I will also create the chapter titles for you. Now, if you already have ideas for books, great, bring them along with you. Okay, bring them with you and I will check them all over, we'll go through them all, we'll create the chapter titles and we'll also create a time frame for you to get the book completed. Now, even though it's a 12-month program, if you get your book finished within, say, three months, fantastic, you've still got nine months to tap into my knowledge and expertise and you can even start another book in that time frame too. Now, if I was going to coach you to do all of that, I would charge a thousand pounds for my expertise and my time. Um, I've got loads of testimonials from people who've been on my program. This is just one of them. A lovely chap called Bill Lavender who um, has published his book. He's now doing another book with me, but it's just a quick testimonial. Uh, making a decision to work with Richard to produce my book proved to be an excellent move. He took care of all the stuff associated with publishing very quickly and efficiently, leaving him to do what he knows best, which is to write the content. Um, these are my offices in Kings Hill in Kent. You'll come and see me there for an up to two hour um, consultation. Like I say, it's one to one. That's what I would charge for that to create you your action plan. And when you leave the meeting, you will take away an action plan with you. You will also have a book writing template. Now, there are no contracts to sign. All right. You keep all the copyright to your book. And I will also get your book professionally typeset. Now, if I was going to typeset a 200 page book for you, that's what it would cost me to get that done. OK, 300 pounds plus VAT. So that's how much that costs if you're going to get that done yourself. But the great thing is, is no comp. You get to keep 100 percent of the profits. My name does not go anywhere on your book. It's your book published by you by your self-publishing company. I'll set you up as a publisher on Amazon so that you can sell your book, but also I'll come get it professionally converted to Kindle and also implement the royalty system so that you get paid. And that's what I would charge if I was going to do that for you, £597 plus VAT. And I'll sell your book, my book, sorry, your book on my How to Become website, providing it's not erotic fiction or fiction. It needs to be a non-fiction book. That's just a little extra bonus. We'll do a joint venture together, share the profits on that. My website, howtobecome.com, gets over 5,000 unique hits a day. How much would you make from that? Now, I'm going to be there to support you and hold your hand. OK, this is important. I'll give you 12 months full personal support to ensure you become successful. Remember, I'm guaranteeing that you're going to become a best selling author. And to, for you to have my email address to be able to contact me every day is worth two and a half thousand pounds. I would not sell that for less because a lot of the clients will contact me every day with different questions. 
and I will always respond. You have my promise. I will always respond to you, even at weekends within 24 hours. You'll always get a reply from me. Now, I mentioned earlier on about Mike Woods. He finished my mentoring program uh, in February, just gone. Within three weeks, he became a number one best-selling author. And there's the proof. There's Mike's badge on his book on Amazon. Okay, he's done really well from this. And he's put there a post on Facebook. Uh, fantastic. Thank you, Rick, for your help and guidance. Feeling immensely proud. And that was just at the end of February. You will also get 32 hours worth of online training videos. Okay, so I've got some online training videos, which I will send to you the link to. You get to, to, to view all these videos so you can learn more about the different process for writing and publishing books. Now, this is the best bit. You, once your book is ready, I will send you 100 copies of your book, um, up to 200 pages in length. So you do a 200 page book. If you want to write a book which is longer than um, 200 pages, then I will just bring that number down. But if you can get it to 200 pages, I will send you 100 copies of your book printed. OK, now, if you're going to sell those books at 15 pounds each on your website, that's what you would make back. One thousand five hundred pounds. I'm going to send you 100 copies. You'll have it in there. It'll be on Kindle. Those books will come delivered by courier. Now, that is how much the program is worth, over eight thousand pounds. And there are some coaches out there who are charging eight thousand pounds to do all that for you. And they won't even send you 100 copies of the book. Now, I'm not going to charge eight thousand pounds. I'm not. Now, this is just a small number of people who are already benefiting from my program. OK, so I've got the authority. I've been out there doing it. I've coached lots of people already. Just to give you an idea, this is a lovely chap called Steve Sawyer who did a book on getting into Formula One. Um, this is his Facebook page. He sold 43 copies in one day. OK, you put there my best self-publishing day to date, sold this part. There's 43 copies in one day. That's a return of nearly £650 in one day. OK, Yvonne Newbold, she's another one of my um, a lovely lady, Yvonne, uh, fantastic client of mine. She's been a number one bestseller through my program. She sold, we got a book on pre-order and she sold 65 copies before it even went live. And that's nearly a thousand pound return before she's even got the book out there. So remember I said earlier about getting the book on pre-order, it's vital. Now, when you join the program, I will also send you a free Amazon Kindle. OK, so that's another bonus. You get 100 copies of your books, but I'll also send you immediately a welcome pack when you get in the post an Amazon Kindle. Now, this is an unbelievable price for all of that. To work with me for a one year program to get your book out there is only £1,497 plus fat today. And you can even split that down into three equal monthly payments if you want to. It's slightly more expensive for the monthly payments, but it's 547 plus fat, one payment a day, and then one a further month down the line, and then the final one two months down the line. Don't forget, 100 copies of your book for free worth £1,500. So effectively, the program is free because once you've got your 100 copies back, you can sell them all and make that back. OK, so the program's free. And like I say, you get to work with me on successful book coach, a successful author. Now, like I say, I only have two places. So you're going to have to be really quick, guys. Now, to join this program, and I'm going to come on to the questions and answers in a second. But to join my program, this is the website to go to. Write this down, www.bookcoaching.co.uk, and it will take you to this website, okay? This is my website where you can join the program, bookcoaching.co.uk. There's a video there of me talking about the program. And then what you need to do is to scroll down. There's another testimonial from Mike Woods there. This is what you will get on the program. There's more testimonials there from more people, number one best-selling authors. Now, guys, scroll down to the bottom, read the page, and you can see there, look out for the green Buy Now button. That's where you join the program right at the bottom. And there's the option for the two, for the three easy payments, five, four, seven plus fat. There's two, um, two places available and I promise they will go very quick. So what you need to do is to go along to bookcoaching.co.uk. Write that down. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to answer some questions. So Fire away with the questions, please, guys. OK, I've got one question from Derek. And Derek says, if I am going to publish my book in Kindle, what is the best format to publish it under? OK, Derek, well, the best, basically with Amazon, you get a number of different options. You can either do it through HTML, you can do it through .mobi, um, but there is another one that you can do, which is called, and guys, write this down, it's called .epub. EPUB, so that's e publishing. When you get your book 
ready for Kindle, do it in EPUB format. Now that, in my opinion, is the best one. But the reason for that is because you can also get your Kindle book or, or your e format book available on the iBook Store, the Apple iBook Store. Now the Apple iBook Store will only take an EPUB format. So you might as well kill two birds with one stone. Do you know what I mean? What's the point in getting it done in say a dot mobi file and then you go to the iBook store and you can't, you know, you can't get it done because it's not in EPUB format. So get it done in EPUB format. I hope that answers the question. Okay, let me have another look. Um, right. Yes, Michael, Michael, I'm gonna answer your question, sir. Do I have any guidance for anyone who wishes to publish their book under a pseudonym? Um, yes. Now, look, I know lots of people who publish under a pseudonym, and there are many reasons why they would do that. Maybe they want to protect themselves. Um, for example, when I first started to do um, my first book on becoming a firefighter, I could have, I had considered doing it under a pseudonym because, you know, I was in the job, there might have been a, co a conflict of interest. Um, I decided not to, but I could have done a pseudonym. Now, if you do a pseudonym, obviously try not to come up with a name that is not believable. If Choose your name, but also search online to see that you are not going to conflict with anybody else. But you can choose whatever pseudonym you want to. Now, what I would also do is go along to a website called ipo.gov, okay, ipo, so that's the three letters, ipo.gov, and I would look on there to see whether anybody has trademarked their name, because if you use a pseudonym um, and you, it's trademarked, you could, could get into trouble. So just go on there, make sure no one's registered the name that you're going to use as a pseudonym. What you could do now, obviously, you need to be careful on what you put on your author description when you're using a pseudonym, but don't make it up. OK, you can still apply it to yourself about the kind of things that you've been through, but just use a pseudonym. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with using a pseudonym either. OK. Here's a question, Kathy. If you're so confident that your coaching will work, why can't someone have it for free and pay you once the books are seen? Um, simply because I'm certainly not going to spend 12 months coaching you um, and then you pay me at the end once you've all sold them. I'm not, I've got so much time that I'm going to invest in you. I have to know that you're 100 percent I'm sure that you're going to write the book, therefore you need to invest in it. And I would say that yes, I am very confident in my program, but your commitment is that you join the program yourself, you go through it and I coach you for it. And then you make your money back yourself because this is a two way thing. It's a commitment between you and it's a commitment between me. OK, I'm giving you all of my expertise and my coaching. So hopefully, um, Kathy, that answers your question there. Um, somebody has also asked if I was to join the program now, when can I start? When can I get the consultation in? Well, the answer is that you can start straight away. So what you will do is you'll join the program at bookcoaching.co.uk. And you will get an email from me this evening. I will then contact you to arrange the consultation date. OK, now I'll check my diary. You check yours. We come up with a date together and you come and meet me um, in Kings Hill. If you want to do it over Skype, then um, we can get it done a lot quicker. I could do one on Friday if you want to do it via Skype. Um, also, if you wanted to join the program now and you want to come and meet me on Friday, I do have some available uh, availability on um, on Friday, which will be you know great for you. Otherwise, if you wanted to book it now and join and grab one of those two places, but you can't start for three months' time, that's fine. Okay, I won't start. You pay for it now, but you won't start the program for three months' time, and you'll still get the twelve months. So hopefully that answers um, the question for you. Well, I've really enjoyed tonight. There's no more questions on there. Um, like I say, my name's been Richard McMahon. Please come and work with me. You 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 know you'll find it a tremendous program. Um, I hope you've enjoyed tonight and um, yeah, I wish you all the very best in your pursuit to become a best-selling author and thank you very much for watching guys, really enjoyed it. Cheers.